This is a demonstration of Mappin, a web mapping platform. Mappin makes it super easy to publish QGIS projects. Let's take a look at a QGIS project now. The project contains a number of OS open data layers showing various amenities along with OpenStreetMap vector background maps. I've set up the layer styles, groups and layer order the way I want them to be displayed on the web. The project also contains OS open names, which we'll use to search for addresses and postcodes. The data is currently stored in PostGIS and Spatial Light on my local machine. I then uploaded my QGIS project and data to Mappin. Let's see what it looks like. Here's the project loaded in Mappin. The map features navigation controls, cursor coordinates, north arrow and scale bar. Layer attribution is updated automatically depending on which layers are visible. The legend shows symbology for visible layers. The search tool has been configured to use the OS open names data we saw in QGIS. The Find My Nearest tool has been configured to locate the nearest electric vehicle charging points, schools and hospitals. Let's find the closest primary schools. Clicking on a map feature will show its attributes. For example, details about this electric vehicle charging point. This behavior is configured through Mappin's web-based admin interface, giving control over which layers can be queried, which attributes should be shown, and in what order. Attribute names can also be aliased. The print tool allows users to create and download PDF maps. Print compositions for the four options here, A3, A4, both portrait and landscape, are extracted from the uploaded QGIS project. Let's take a look back in QGIS. Here are the four print composers used in Mappin. I've set these up in QGIS exactly as I want my user's PDF maps to look. Here's the resulting PDF. It looks exactly the same as when exported from QGIS. Mappin has excellent integration with QGIS, but is also able to consume layers from any WMS server, including GeoServer.